Hello all, welcome to the last video of the series. In this video we will take a look at the real implementation of the technique. Then we will investigate the algorithm, difficulties and possible solutions. The technique's algorithm is given below. We will first create a matrix called mass matrix with size number of nodes by number of nodes. Then we will create a vector called force load vector with size number of nodes and one. And we will go over a loop for every element and data type. Find elements node indices. For every node combination i and j, we will integrate ni and nj over the control volume minus 1 to 1 and do an atomic addition operation on mass matrix ij. And we will integrate ni multiplied by stress strain field over the control volume minus 1 to 1 and do an atomic addition operation on force load vector i. And finally, we will solve the linear system created by mass matrix and force load vector. Then we will save the nodal data. To implement this technique, we have some difficulties. For example, difficulty. How to store an element's data and extract it when needed. We can solve this difficulty by creating an element object initiate it with corresponding node objects. We can store and get whichever data we need. A possible solution is given in the right side. This Python object can store node per element, gauss point per element, nodes, gauss points, element index, coordinate matrix and stress strain field. By abstracting the element, we can get whichever data we need. Another difficulty is about points. Difficulty. How to store a node's data and extract it when needed. We can solve this problem by creating a node object. We can initiate it with corresponding coordinate data. Then we can store and get whichever data we need. Consider the right side 2D point and node abstraction in Python. Node object inherits from 2D point object. It can store coordinates, index, NS stress or strain data. Another difficulty originates from integration. We are familiar with the gauss point function. This function is the same with your gauss point function, but it's in array form. We need integration over the mass matrix, and we can create a function to integrate any shape function with any shape function. We can create a function that captures corresponding shape function names and outputs the integration result. In the right side, integration algorithm is given. It's pretty simple. Also, we need a force load integrator to calculate force load vector. And the solution is we can create a function that captures corresponding shape function names and the element, then it calculates integral with Gauss quadrature. The integration procedure is the same with mass matrix integrator. You can see the for loop. It goes over Gauss points and sums them. And finally, we can implement our algorithm. We will go every data type, we will go over every element type, we will calculate mass matrix, we will calculate force load vector, then we will solve the system, store it in an array. After a successful implementation, these are the results. As you can see, discontinuous stress strain fields are approximated in a way that the difference between the plots is minimum and the new plot is as smooth as possible. The object-oriented programming is not the only way of implementing this technique. Because of easy data manipulation over procedural programming, it's preferred. I hope you understand the problem, technique and the implementation. You can use the functions and the algorithm given in this video for your programs. And thank you for watching.